Okay, you ready, Marina? I'm ready when you are. This one is uh, is very typical. I can't roll my R's. I'm beyond help. <laughs> I can't say R. Okay, I think it's a question of practice. Uh, it's hard. Uh, pronunciation is always hard and difficult. But let's go back to my sister-in-law, my little sister-in-law. She used to have a lot of trouble uh, rolling her R's. And for example, when she said rojo, she couldn't say the R in rojo without putting an A beforehand. So she would use, she would say arrojo. Yeah, in order to do that, r, r, she'd have to say an A sound first. She ar, couldn't ar. make an R sound at the beginning of yeah. her word. So it took her a while, but she was very stubborn and she rolls her R's uh, perfectly yeah. now. It was, she had to consciously remove that A before yeah. the R. Mm, if so, if your problem is that you're kind of saying it wrong because you're saying an A before the R, then it's conscious practice to get rid of that A. If your problem is that you just can't roll your R's at all, I, I don't know what the answer is. I, could, I couldn't roll my R's. Okay, and now it's I can. a question as well of where, or where, where you place your tongue. Your tongue needs, needs to be just behind your upper teeth. Yeah. And stick to your. Paladar, no sé to your palate. But, uh, but it's very up to the it's front. It's more than that because it's got to kind of vibrate, Brrr. vibrate at 70,000 miles an hour yes. as well. Well, it's practice, practice, yeah, practice, practice. practice. So if you can't roll your eyes, don't panic. Keep trying. Yes. Do it. You know, you're in the bath or in the shower. Uh, no one's listening. Try and roll your eyes. Find words which have um, a perfect rolling R in them, like, um, for example, a double R in the middle. Perro. Perro. Per Perro. Well, there's it. two. We've got P-E-R-O. Perro. Which, which P-E-R-O is but, which is... Pero. Pero. Mm -hmm. And then the dog with two R's. Perro. Perro. Uy, I can do the R. Now Marina can't know. roll her R's. Oh, it's not going <laughs> okay. very well, Marina. There is, there is another question, which is how, uh, how to pronounce... But wait a minute. Sorry. No, you, no, is this is You're this not same? getting away with not rolling your R's in the dog Perro. word. Perro. Perro. <laughs> I can, I can roll my ass better than Marina today. This is amazing. <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Say but. Pero. Dog. Perro. It's a very slight difference. Yeah. Some people it's exa stronger. It's stronger. Some people exaggerate a lot and they'll go perro. Yeah. For example, caro, carro. Yeah. Caro is expensive. Carro is a uh, cart, like mm -hmm. shopping cart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carrito is what you push around the supermarket. Yes. So find one of those words, dog. Perro or carro for the cart and say it to yourself 3,000 times until you start yeah. saying R in the middle. Okay. Right. So I wanted to, way below this question, there is another one, which is how to pronounce single R and double R. So we are answering this question here. And I wanted to add that if you have a single R at the beginning of a sentence, at the beginning of a word, sorry, the sound is like a double R. Yes. Like so, rojo. So, P-E-R-O, but, one R, you say pero. Pero. No rolling. No rolling. But if pero. you have a single R at the beginning of a word, like red, rojo. Rojo. Then you roll like that. Yes. Okay. <laughs>